hello and welcome to my channel my name is treasure Sebs. i'm based in the uk uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i really do appreciate you and thank you for all the likes and the shares if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do so uh, i'm coming with loads of different projects uh, within the next coming months uh, please subscribe and please make sure that your notification bell is on so that uh, you will be alerted when i post any new video Video. thank you so much today I'm going to be drafting a basic bodies block yes I am going to the basics uh, because I actually had a request to do that and also uh, most of the projects I'm going to be working on within the next coming months uh, will be based on the foundation of the bodies block the basic bodies block and so that I'll be using I'll be creating style lines on that block for any new style that i'm coming with or any new designs that i'm coming with uh within the next few weeks so that is why i'm doing this today and i really appreciate it if you follow me through so that we do this together uh now to start you need your measurements the bodies block i am creating today is a customized bodies block a customized bodies block that means i have taken the measurement uh to be able to create this block so it's actually uh drafted to fit a particular body all right so the measurement you're going to need will be the shoulder to bust measurement as you can see mine is 11 shoulder to waist measurement mine is 17 shoulder to hip is 24 inches neck to waist measurement that is from the base of your neck to your waist mine is 14 inches in the front and from the nape at the back to the waist is 15 inches the bus circumference is 42 inches waist circumference is 34 inches hip circumference is 42 inches and the shoulder at the back is 16 inches so these are the measurements that you will need to draft your body's block now before we start drafting i want to show you some cal calculation right uh for the purpose of drafting these are the calculation you're going to need for your bust dart intake my own is two inches and how do you calculate that it is the difference between your shoulder to waist in the front and your nape at the back to the waist all right so if you measure your shoulder to waist in the front and measure nape to waist at the back the difference between that will give you your bust dart intake okay as you can see my shoulder to waist in the front is 17 inches and my nape to waist at the back is 15 inches so if you minus 15 from 17 it will give you two inches so that is the first calculation the second calculation is the back shoulder that is to be able to draft our shoulder line you need the back shoulder and you divide that in two and that gives me eight inches now the next thing you're going to need is your arm side which is also called your chest line and that is the depth of your arm hole okay so the depth of my arm hole is 8.5 inches and how do you calculate that you take the circumference of your full bust divide that by six and add 1.5 inches for ease so your bust circumference mine is 42 inches when i divide that by six all right 42 inches i divide that by six and i had 1.5 inches it gives me 8.5 inches all right now to draft the circumferences of your bodies you need your bust circumference mine is 42 you divide that by four inches i like to add a quarter of is for free movement and that gives me 10.75 for the waist circumference my waist is 34 inches you divide that by four you add one inch for our waist dart all right you had one inch for the waist dart plus a quarter of an ease of an inch for ease and that gives me 9.75 inches your hip circumference mine is 42 inches you divide that by four plus a quarter of an inch for ease and that gives me 10.75 inches the next one is the bust span that is the line on which we're going to be creating our 
um, dot and that gives us the where our apex is gonna be so bus circumference no sorry bus span is eight inches I divide that by two it gives me four I have to measure your bus span is you put your tape measure on one at uh, the fullest part of one nipple to the next the fullest part of one bust one breast to the next breast so nipple to nipple will give me my own is eight inches and then half of that will be four inches and that is where your apex will be on on your bust line all right and then your front length for the purpose of drafting our side bust dot all right your front length which is 17 plus 2 inches that will be measured vertically so front length plus 2 inches will allow us allowance to be able to create the side bust but I'm going to be showing you as I draft along so please follow me and let's start because you're going to need your um, hip ruler if you have it that's fine if not you can just use a straight ruler and I've got uh, my L square here it is optional you don't have to use it but it actually allows me to be able to create a, a, a good straight line okay so that is the L square that I've got there and I also have a straight ruler which is this one a straight ruler mine is 24 inches long you can get a longer one uh, if you so desire and of course I've got my tape measure I've got my tape measure and also I have my French curve to be able to create the shape around the neckline and the arm all shape okay so let's get started as you can see I've just wrote a line there that doesn't mean anything it's just to be able to give me like a foundation line on which I'm drafting from okay so the next measurement I'm going to be taking will be my neckline and for my neckline I am going to be doing a three by three neckline so the depth of my neckline will be three inches and the width of my neckline will be three inches so the next thing you want to do is to measure out the shoulder line half of my shoulder measurement is eight inches that is eight inches and then you mark down one inch from the shoulder one inch from the shoulder all right and then rule a line from the neck point to the shoulder point to the end of the shoulder line okay okay so the next thing you want to do is to measure out your arm side like i explained earlier your arm side or your chest line or the depth of your arm all mine is 8.5 inches so i'm going to mark 84.5 inches then rule a line across from the center front 8.5 inches down rule a line across from the center point and then measure out eight inches that you measure on the uh, shoulder line measure the same here and then rule a line to connect that to your shoulder and that is where we are going to be drafting our ham all uh, shortly but before we draft our arm all we want to create all our vertical measurement first my shoulder to waist measurement is 17 inches but because I am going to be drafting a side bust dart and my dart intake is 2 inches for the bust so I'm adding 2 inches to the length of my waist to the length of my hip so that will be 2 inches added to the length of my overall bodies okay so instead of measuring 17 for my waist I'm going to measure at 19 inches I hope you understand how I arrived at 19 inches so I'm going to rule a line across the bodies all right and then my the length of my bodies is from shoulder to hip is 25 inches now again adding the two inches for the dot will give me 27 inches 
okay 27 inches and I will roll a line across the bodies now I want to find my apex my apex is my bust point okay my bust measurement uh, my shoulder to bust measurement is 11 inches okay 11 inches and then I'll just roll a temporary line there 11 inches okay and then on this line which is my bust line let me measure let me label it so that you can see bust line chest line waist line and the hip line okay so on the bust line yeah I'm going to be measuring the half of my bust span my bust span nipple to nipple is 18 inches so half of that will give me four inches so I'll mark that so right there I'm just going to circle it put a small circle there to indicate that that is my apex the tip of my bust yeah so that is my apex and uh, for the purpose of creating the waist dot I will take the same four inches all the way on the waistline and on the hip line so on the waistline I have four inches as well and on the hip line four inches as well so I will draw a straight line from the apex all the way to the hip okay now the next thing we want to do is to create the waist dot the waist dot I'm taking in the intake I'm taking in is one inch so right on the waistline here I will put my tape measure and measure at half inch on both sides half an inch on both sides all right so and then from the hip line you want to measure up two inches away from the hip line and the reason for that is you want to give some room at the stomach area all right so that's why you're not connecting your dart straight to the hip you want to lift it up and then again the same thing you want to create room around your bust area you don't want any a uh, pointy or sharp point around the bust area so you measure down one inch towards the waist from the bust line and then you connect all the lines to create our waist dots And the reason why we create waist dart is to take in the excess around the stomach area to give a good curve for the bodies to create a good shape for the bodies okay so we've completed the waist dart and that is one inch away from the bust area so the next thing we want to do is to create our ham hole now to do that you go back to the shoulder line with a line that connects to your chest line and find the midpoint there and you fold the tape measure and find the midpoint so that is this is the midpoint and also we're going to be creating some shape around the armhole area for the front and to do that the standard is you measure in three quarter of an inch three quarter of an inch okay And the reason why you do that is so that it is very flat on the chest area there is no bulge around the chest area you want it to lay flat alternatively you can actually take the measurement of your across chest and the front whatever you find that is from the armhole start to the end of another armhole start okay and then you find the midpoint there to arrive at your Cross, across chest measurement but what I just want to do is to take in three quarter of an inch as standard and then I'm going to connect that to the end of my shoulder line here and finish it off with my French curve to connect to the chest line okay so I'll take that and connect that curve 
to the chest line so that is our armhole shape for the front so the next thing we want to do is to mark out our circumferences for the bodies now my bust circumference is 42 divided by 4 will give me 10.5 and i also like to add ease so i'm adding a quarter of an inch for ease so that is going to give me 10.75 inches which is 10 inches and three quarter of an inch so you're not marking that on your bust line you're marking that on your chest line so that will give me 10.75 that is 10.75 okay i'll roll a line to make sure it gets to that point so that is 10. Point seven five okay and then i'll come to the waistline my waist circumference is 34 inches divided by four will give me 8.4.5 inches plus one inch the reason for that one inch is the dot intake that we've had here which is one inch you want to return it back to the side okay so the waist measurement that i'm measuring out is 9.75 which is plus the quarter of an inch for my is so 9.75 is just right here and my hip circumference is 42 inches divided by four plus a quarter of an inch for is and that will be 10.75 10 and three quarter of an inch so i'm going to connect that from my arm all depth to the waist and then finish it up with my hip curve for the hip area okay and there we have it so the next thing we're going to do is to create our side bust dot, which I'm going to be doing on the side here. And to do that, you want to measure two inches from the uh, end of your armhole depth there. So mark that. And then from that point, my dot intake is two inches. Two inches. So find the midpoint. All right, find the midpoint there. The midpoint is one inch just between them so that is going to be the middle of the dot and then rule a straight line from that midpoint and connect that to the apex rule a, a straight line up to the apex like so and then just like i said earlier you don't want to draft anything right there up to the apex area so you mark down one inch away from the apex and then we connect both line to that we we'll connect both leg of the dot to the apex minus one right okay so this is going to be my dot I'm just going to delete the middle part there. So this is going to be my dot. But again, if I cut the dot away like that and fold it over, there's going to be some irregularity on the side. But I'm going to show you how to make it straight uh, shortly. Remember, I added two inches to the length of my waist, which added to the length of the bodies. The reason why I did that is because of these two inches of the dot. Because by the time you sew this dot up, it moves the whole bodies up. It moves it up, so it eliminates these two inches. But now what I'm going to do next is to move this dot to the shoulder, all right? If the star you're making is a side position, is a side dot position, you can leave it here and then just through it, roll a line to make it straight, which I'm still going to show you how to do that. Uh, but let us create our line for the shoulder positions so that because I'm moving this to the shoulder. To move it to the shoulder, you measure the length of your shoulder and find the mid 
point my shoulder point here is five inches so i'm gonna find the mid middle which is gonna be two and a half inches so i'll mark that and then rule a line straight to the apex so i'll rule a line straight to the apex straight to the apex all right and then i'll slash that open So fold that over like so and then tape it down. As you can see as soon as I taped it over, it opened the shoulder dart. I folded it over here, it moved the remaining part of the body up and eliminated the two inches that we added to the length. As you can see, there are some discrepancies here on the side area. There are some irregularities there. So what you want to do is to trim it. So to do that, you place a ruler just at the end of the, of the arm hole depth there all the way to the waist and redraw your line for the side okay so you redraw a line for the for the side and then you can lay the previous side line okay so that will give you a straight line on the side please if you don't understand any of the process that i've just done please leave a comment for me and I will do my possible best to answer it. So what I'm going to do now is to cut out the pattern for the front bodies. And there we have the front of the body's block. What you can do is to place this on a fresh paper, on a hard card, and redraw it, putting all the mark markings there so that it lasts and you're going to be using it to draft your style line to create different designs that you can create from here you can move this dart from shoulder you can move it back to the side you can transfer all the darts to the waist area you can even create some uh style line and move the dart to the front to the side to the center front to create different style that you want to create so this is the end of the front panel so i'm going to be doing the back panel now